Sarah Janice Brown and I'm going to share with you what I'm doing for my mom school, how I use my mom school journal, and what is in my new mom school basket. I got this yesterday. Isn't it beautiful? I was getting really stir crazy with being in the house for the quarantine, so I went to the natural food market and just felt like I really needed to do some shopping and I saw this basket and thought that would be perfect. We also bought a Venus flytrap plant. So that's gonna be a fun science experiment for the kids. So I'm gonna show you my new mom's homeschooling handbook and I'm gonna show you what is in my new mom school basket. I did a restart of my mom's school and picked all new books. It seems like some books always stay in my mom's school basket, but a bunch of them I switched out. So mom's school, is a way to be an example to your kids while you learn things that you're interested in, that you wanna learn about. And by being interested in topics that you're interested in, your kids will see you learning and they'll get interested in learning too. So it's all about just sparking curiosity in your kids and showing them how to research, how to learn, how to focus, and what you expect them to do in their fun schooling journals. So, this is the homeschooling handbook for moms, how to teach by example. And it looks a lot like the kids thinking tree journals and has a lot of the same pages, but they're designed to be more relevant to moms rather than kids. So the first thing you're going to do is choose nine books based on what you're interested in learning about. So what I have here, I have it written the titles yet because I just picked my books just now. So, ooh, they match my basket. Maybe I picked them because of the colors. So here's what I'm going to be having in my new mom school basket. This is Praying Through the 100 Gateway Cities of the 1040 Window, Ancient Rome, How It Affects You Today, Whatever Happened to Justice, Whatever Happened to Penny Candy. I'm choosing these because I'm using these books in homeschooling my teenagers right now, and so I wanted to read them myself again because it's been probably a few years since I've read those. The Gift of Dyslexia. I've read this book a couple times, and it's been about five years since I've read it, so I just think it's a good time to read it again. Um, so I put this one in my basket because it has a lot of really beautiful poems and um, there's places in my journal for copy work and poetry. So I thought that uh, it would be nice to have a poetry book also. Sometimes when my kids come around, I will um, read a poem to them or do the same copy work as them. And then I have some books to re-inspire me on homeschooling. So this is How Children Learn. The Brave Learner. This is always in my basket. The Unhurried Homeschooler. This is almost always in my basket too. And The Call of the Wild and Free. This book is really beautiful. And it really explains all kinds of different um, homeschooling methods. It's just really well written, and it's fun, and it's beautiful. So uh, I haven't gotten through it yet, but the parts I've read are really good. So those are the books that I'm going to be using in my mom's school basket right now. So I'm going to write the titles of each of these books here. And then um, there's coloring time. So when there's coloring time, it's a nice time to color with a child while listening to an audiobook. This is A New Day. So there's a verse, a song, a prayer, what matters most, a prayer list. I made this book for myself and I wanted to have a prayer list in it. There's also uh, secular mom school journals. But since I'm using this, um, where is it? This Gateway Cities prayer book. I also have the uh, 2019 missionary prayer book for uh, missionaries who are serving with uh, Calvary Chapel, which was the church we were serving with when we were missionaries. So I know a lot of people who are in this book. So that's another uh, group of specific people I can pray for using my prayer list. And then we want to just have perspective. What matters most? 
This is reading time. So you'll sit down with a few books from your stack, write, draw, copy things that you want to remember. Hold it really still or else it gets confusing, Joe. Okay, now plans and perspectives. This is really important. These are the kind of things I like to think about. And I'll probably only use my mom's school journal, like I mean my whole mom's school basket once or twice a week. But I do keep it next to my bed so I kind of grab stuff out of it for a quiet time in the morning if I have time. But like my true priorities, I'm thankful for a checklist and my long-term goals. It's so important to keep things in perspective so I included these things in this journal. Now this is attitude improvement time. How are you feeling today? Color all the facial expressions that match your day. And then we evaluate how is your mood influencing the people around you today? And uh, then there's another coloring time. So you listen to some music, an audiobook, whatever, and color. You can skip the coloring pages if you don't like them, but I think sometimes we really need to relax. This is an illustrated to-do list, so you'll just kind of doodle things that you're either praying for or things you need to do or things you're thankful for. And um, sometimes there's things that you need to do and it's hard to get around to them, but if you kind of put it in a fun doodle, it makes it more fun. Here's menu planning, so making a shopping list, thinking about new recipes to try, meal planning. Uh, this is a recipe example, and then mommy math time. So the purpose of the math time is to be an example to your kids of how to do math on paper, because a lot of times kids don't see us doing math on paper. So this is just an opportunity. Maybe you're teaching your child some math that you need to brush up on. So you might watch a YouTube video on the next type of math that you're gonna be teaching to your child and do some of the exercises yourself. Because as homeschoolers, we have to teach our kids stuff that is sometimes hard for us to remember. And then we have ideas for fun and learning together. So I would use my Brave Learner book and take notes from this onto this page. And then another reading time. So I would choose a few books and take notes on the reading time page. And then another coloring page. This is listening time. So listen to an audiobook or some classical music and um, just draw and doodle. This is screen time. Watch a documentary, educational program, movie, tutorial, and take notes. And one reason we have this page in here is so you can be an example to your kids of what you expect them to do when they get a screen time page in one of their journals. Your children may have a World News Today page in their journal, and so this is where you talk about the news, and this one is praying for people and communities impacted by bad news. And then daily journal, special memories, and by using a book like this, you're really being an example to your child of what you expect them to do with their homeschooling and in their homeschooling journals because a lot of times kids get a homeschooling journal and it's an excellent tool for them to explore their interests but this is so different from typical school that they have no idea how to get started. So if you get a mom school journal you're going to be able to show your kids exactly what you expect of them as they do their homeschooling. Now let me show you what else is in my basket. Now I'm going to show you what's inside my mom school basket. So. First of all, we have some chocolate treats. One thing this does is it kind of gives you a little boost while you're getting into your mom's school, but it also helps the kids come around because when you're doing your mom's school and you have chocolate in your basket, the kids are gonna appear and ask for a little treat, and that kind of helps them get interested in what you're doing. So invite them to color with you and give them a little treat. It's nice. I have a candle. But not only do I have a candle, I have matches so I can light the candle. I have my uh, colored pencils and my gel pens, but not only do I have colored pencils, I have a pencil sharpener. <laughs> I have a Kindle reader. I have my journal. And I have my headphones. And then, look at this. So cute. This is where I keep my, wait for it, power plugs for my Kindle and my headphones. 
and it's just so cute. And this kind of just inspires my kids to see that my mom's school is interesting. And one, and then I have two books in here that I use for my kids. So when my kids, my especially my little ones, come around and they're interested in my mom's school, I will maybe invite them to uh, do some school with me, and I'll keep some of their school books. So this is Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons, and I have three little girls right now that are using this. And then this is the Storytelling with Imagination Journal, and these are just great tools to draw kids in and help them feel all cozy and having fun while learning. So this is everything that's in my mom's school basket right now. And there's two purposes for having mom school. One is self-care, renewing your energy, taking care of yourself, learning things that you're interested in, and growing as, as a woman and learning as a woman. A lot of times, we set aside our learning and our interests and our hobbies because we think that that's kind of selfish to focus on ourselves. Moms, you need to focus on yourself. You need to make adulting look interesting to your kids. You don't want them to stay kids forever. And um, there's a really good chapter in um, Brave Learner about being an interesting adult and being a mom that makes looking like an adult fun and interesting. And I would really uh, encourage you to read this because it's so good about just making homeschooling just this magical, fun experience for your kids. I love it so much. And um, then the other reason to have a mom school basket is to be an example to your kids. So often, all our kids see us doing is just kind of getting our education and having our social life on our phone or on our tablet or on our computer. And they really need to see us in real life with real books, reading, writing, learning in a way that they can understand. It's not healthy to be on social media and being on a phone or being on the computer all the time. We need to limit ourselves. And one thing we can do is we can make the experience of learning more interesting for us and more fun for us by creating a beautiful, intriguing, and fun mom school basket. And um, I love this basket. It's like fair trade made by women in a village in Africa. And it's big enough for all my stuff. If uh, you can't get a hold of a beautiful basket like this, you can start out with a laundry basket. Or you can have a small mom school basket with just three or four books. So um, come take a look inside. See how I have it all arranged here. Say hi to my cute little kitty. And um, if you have a mom school basket, tell me about it in the comments. And if you have questions or have ideas for future videos that I could make for my channel, just add those to the comments. And um, I'm going to give away a copy of this book for the people who made it all the way to the end of the video. Leave a comment and say, I would love to have the mom's fun schooling homeschooling handbook and in um in a couple of weeks i will have a drawing and you'll win it okay thank you